So getting data out of Facebook to analyze can be quite difficult if you're not much of a developer. Um, but I've been using a tool called FacePager, which makes it a lot easier. And if you Google FacePager, um, the, at the top hit for me is the GitHub page. And this link here is the one um, that has a link to the installers on. So this has this top page has code like the code of the program on. I'll go straight for the installer. Uh, you just go down to the installers and pick whichever installer works on your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I'll download FacePager 3.5 for the Mac. Uh, if you're on Windows, download 3.5 for Windows. Or 3.6 if you want to be adventurous, but that's not the latest stable release. Um, and then once you've downloaded and extracted the file, uh, the yeah the file downloaded, you want you'll get a little program like this, which you can copy into your applications folder if you're on a Mac, uh, and then open it. And this is what you get. It's like a, this is like a little graphical user interface to the to the Facebook. Graph API really, um, and it it makes it kind of it lets you do all the queries to the Facebook uh, Graph API to get data out of Facebook, uh, but it makes it a lot easier. But as you're doing it, you kind of work out what it is you're doing and what it is you're asking Facebook, and so that you as as you're using this tool, you're always learning as you're going along, and it really helps in the long run if you decide to, you know, in your web app you, you use the API straight. Um, so the first thing you want to do is click new database which creates a new SQLite SQLite database is have I got that right? And I'll save it to my desktop um, and I'll just create one that's called example. So now we can see we've got this example database, that's where all the Facebook data will be stored. Then you want to add nodes, which are the things you want to explore on Facebook. And if I click that, it'll ask me for object IDs and we want to add one ID per line. Um, now the way we find object IDs is if you want to find out about yourself you just type me. But I'll, in this example I'll find information about a page. Um, and so you just go to Facebook and go to the page, you know, look for a page that you want to explore. So I'll go, I'll go for the Minecraft page. And the ID is just this bit after www.facebook.com slash so it's just minecraft in this example um, so go back to face pager paste that in there click ok and now you've got this object id um, and now we want to run queries against that so down here you pick what service you're using so I'm using Facebook and then you can pick the type of resources you want to grab so I want to grab uh, all the posts so this will get all the posts for free pages from Minecraft uh, from the Minecraft page the other thing you need is an access token and I've already got one here, but because I've already done this step. But you, you, if this is the first time you're doing it, you won't have one. And to get one, you just click log into Facebook, and then log in, and the app will do it for you. It will create the access token and put it in there. So once you're ready, just click fetch data. And this little thing up here, this little bar starts going to let me know, uh, letting you know it's doing something. And then when it's finished. Um, you should have some stuff in the logs telling you that it's done stuff. Uh, but you should notice there's a little arrow next to Minecraft now. And that's because I found the posts from that ID. And if I click down, you'll see them all. And so there's lots of data here about the posts, uh, such as what the message was in the post, what type of post it was, a link or a photo or a video. Now if I just wanted to get one type, like just videos, instead of getting user posts, I could have just done user videos down here. But that's not a problem, because I wanted them all. Uh, and now, 
you can click that to see more information in there or if you're a developer you can copy the JSON to the clipboard and do stuff with the JSON um, what you can do though is drill further down so maybe for the first three of these I would like to get all the comments on those posts so change this way I'm after to use the videos to posts comments I don't need to log into Facebook again just click fetch data and now these three nodes, these uh, three posts have little arrows next to them and if I click down I've got all the comments so someone's saying fuck the NSA someone else is saying god these comments are just nonsense rather than uh, but that's Facebook for you uh, so these are the comments on that post now you you can look at this in face pager you can explore the database if you kind of a techie kind of person but the database won't be structured like this uh, basically there's a row in one of the tables which just has the JSON in so it's just like working with the JSON but the other thing you can do is export that to CSV um, so say I want all these comments I just select them and then press export data now that will export to CSV I can type uh, call it whatever I want, I'm saving it to the desktop click save and there is the CSV of all the comments now if I open a text uh, now so that you can open that in Excel or whatever um, but if I just open a, a text program uh, you can see that the separator is a semicolon. Now it's worth remembering that because if I load, if you load that into another program, maybe even Excel, it won't be expecting a semicolon. It'll probably expecting a blank space as the separator. So when you load that into a program, like for example, I'm loading it into R here. Um, sometimes there's an option to pick the separator. So here I've got separator equals semicolon. Uh, just that's just something that's worth remembering, I think. And there's lots more to so doing face page that I've not got my head around. Uh, it's kind of an easy way. So this is kind of an easy way of helping you learn the RESTful uh, commands to get stuff out the graph graph API. There's parameters down here built in. Um, you can create your own custom tables, which I've not really got up to yet. Uh, there's all these presets like get the last 500 posts, uh, get all Facebook profiles, or there's other stuff here for YouTube as well and Twitter. And I've not really got into that, but then you can, um, once you've got used to to these, you can create your own presets, your own recipes, do stuff quite easily. It looks like quite a good program, so I'm gonna go and get into it a bit more. Looked very good. Not many people seem to be using it. I don't know if that's because there's a better tool I don't know about, but for me it seems like it's a nice little way into the graph API that uh, doesn't scare you off with things like um, access tokens, uh, you know, API keys or, or stuff like that. So I think it's a great tool.